안녕하세요. 쿠트라 워싱턴 무역관 정세영 과장입니다. 네, 1월 5일부터 8일까지 미국 라스베가스에서 개최되는 세계 최대 가전 IT 전시회인 CS 2023에 이미 많은 관심이 모이고 있는데요. 이번 CS 2023은 170여 개국에서 약 3천 개의 기업이 참가하여 최대 규모로 개최된다고 합니다. 물론 우리나라도 세계에서 두 번째로 많은 기업들이 참가하는데요. 저희 코트라에서는 이제 CS 2023 특집으로 코트라 로스앤젤레스 무역관과 그리고 워싱턴 무역관이 세 편의 유튜브 콘텐츠로 여러분들을 찾아갑니다. 네, 오늘은 그첫 번째로 CS 2023 미리 보기를 준비해 보았는데요. CS 전시회 주최 기관인 미국 소비자 기술 협회 CTA의 존 켈리 이사님을 모셔서 CS 2023에 대해서 한번 시원하게 알아보려고 합니다. 그럼 이사님을 한번 모셔 보도록 하겠습니다. It's nice to meet you as well. And everybody in Korea, my name is John Kelly. I'm the Vice President and Acting Show Director for CES. Could you tell us the, what Consumer Electric Show is about and how it became a global influencer in digital tech world you live in? So CES, we've been around for over 50 years, takes place annually in Las Vegas, and it's an opportunity for companies large and small to do business, to see the future. Big ideas are launched every year at CES, This year we have more than 3,000 companies will be participating. The show footprint is 60% larger than the show was last year, which is amazing. Um, big key trends this year include Web3, AI, automobile mobility. We have a lot of startups participating, over 1,000 new exhibitors this year. It's going to be a great show. And to your question about how we became the event that we are. To, yeah, global influencer event. I think, you know, CES, it represents the entire tech ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So you have everybody from retailers to suppliers to manufacturers to startups, everybody's there across a whole group of industries. Mm -hmm. So for instance, looking at one category, the automobile mobility space, um, which is entirely sold out this year actually at CES, mm -hmm. almost 300 companies. That entire value chain is represented at CES. So the entire industry, you have the suppliers, you have the component manufacturers, you have the partners, people that are making the chips and the systems that are embedded in those vehicles. And then you also have the OEM vehicles as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that really speaks to the secret of success is the entire ecosystem for different industries within the overall consumer technology industry, all represented in one place from around the world. As a follow up question, so why is it important in your opinion so for SMEs, innovative entrepreneurs and startups to attend the CES and what kind of benefits they can expect and also even if they don't have any working for them. Home, like I said, to many large companies, whether it be Samsung, LG, very large companies, but also startups. We have over a thousand startups every year at wow. CES um, coming from over 20 different countries. You know, I think it's important for these companies, small companies to participate in a big show like CES for many reasons. One, they get an opportunity to meet with investors. Mm -hmm. They get an opportunity to meet with media. So global media, we have over 4,000 global media come to the show, which is another huge opportunity for startups. And it's also an opportunity for startups to benchmark their products against competitors to see what others are doing in the marketplace. And one piece of advice that I always offer startups that come to CES is to come with an open mind because what you may think your product is and you may think what your who your target market is so come with an open mind and i think that's the biggest opportunity for startups the don cs show has a theme every year and how is it determined and if so so what is the theme for the 2023 well that's a great question mm -hmm. and this year we do have a theme actually it's how technology is supporting human security or human rights as we know them mm -hmm. So we've partnered, CTA, our parent organization, has partnered with the World Academy of Arts and Sciences, which is a United Nations affiliated group. Um, and what we're doing is we're showcasing how technology supports these human securities. So the right to healthcare, the right to political security, the right to food security. So these, these will be discussed throughout our conference programs and also featured throughout many of the exhibits on the show floor. And let me give you a good example. So it's actually a Korean company. So there's a company called ZK Vote, which is one of our innovations awards winners. Mm -hmm. And they have a technology that will allow for voting mm -hmm. on the blockchain. 
And so as part of that, that supports the political security angle of all of this. And so again, this is a theme that you'll see throughout CES this year, this kind of this tech for good theme mm -hmm. and how technology is supporting these human rights. From what we know, the top, top trends for the past few years that had been the mobility, the particularly in the EV industry and automation. So what is the next year trend that took to see as 2023. Another big area is digital health. Oh. Digital health has seen explosive growth the past couple of years. It's allowing you know, patients to connect with their doctors remotely. It's allowing patients to track their health using different metrics and different devices to track their health um, and then make real world decisions based on that. We're also seeing companies, so sleep tech is part of the health and digital health um, area at CES. So we'll have some sleep tech exhibitors. We have some diagnostics exhibitors. Um, so that's a really large mm -hmm. area of the show floor as well. Can you tell us a little bit about what is the new thing of the CES 2023 comparing the former CES events? Yes, I think the new, really some new trends that we've seen this year. One is um, marine technology, mm -hmm. so technology for watercraft. So for instance, you know, the transportation mobility, we talk a lot about electric vehicles. And oftentimes we refer to that as an automobile. Well, now we have electric boats, and mm -hmm. so there'll be electric boats on display this year at mm -hmm. CES. We will have some EV TOLs, mm -hmm. some electric vehicles that take off and landing. Um, we'll have a few of those on display as well. And so I think our attendees will be you know, really excited to see that this year in Las Vegas. Does the CTA have any goals for SME innovators in technologies? Well, I mean, CTI is an organization, we represent the entire consumer technology industry. Large companies, small companies, you know, the majority of our members actually are small companies. And so we have a, many different projects and programs in place to some support those companies. We're actually this year at, at CES, we're, hoping, we're hosting a kind of a pitch match competition between that will match some of our small startups with investors. We do that every year at CES. And so it is something, you know, our goal again is to grow and support the industry. And there's no better way to do that than supporting the small companies because quite frankly, someday they are going to be the big giants. Every company starts small, right? Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the Korean companies in technology space? So any product that stands out in your mind? Well, I think, you know, Korean technology is, Korean is, Korea is synonymous with technology. I mean, we have some of the best, you know, global leading companies mm -hmm. in technology come from Korea. And it's a very important country um, for the technology economy. So Korea really is home to innovation. Mm -hmm. And every year I'm excited because you know, I, I walk the show floor when I have a chance and I, I go to some of those big booths and there's always something really cool and exciting. Mm -hmm. And more often than not, it's one of the Korean companies showcasing that. So is there any special thing you want to add to our Korean viewers? Well, like I said, I look forward to seeing you in person in Las Vegas this January. It's going to be a great show. Thank you for your support. Safe travels and we look forward to seeing you soon. And thank you, and Mr. John Kelly, that is all prepared today. And I appreciate your cooperation. And I have, I hope to meet you at the CS 2023 next year. 네 여기까지 시청해 주신 모든 분들께 감사드립니다. 저희 CS 2023 현장을 생생하게 담는 코트라 콘텐츠 2편과 3편은 첨단 기술을 선보이는 한국 기업 부스도 방문할 예정이고요. 이제 후속 편도 많은 기대 부탁드리겠습니다. 그럼 여기까지 코트라 워싱턴 무역관과 CTA의 존 켈리 이사님이었습니다. Thank you. 감사합니다. Mm -hmm.